Hi, in this video we will look at cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, cerebrospinal fluid, okay. So this is a fluid that is circulating around the brain and even in the ventricles, okay. Where exactly are these? In the ventricles, in the ventricles, central canal of spinal cord and subarachnoid space. Just drawn a diagram to show you that, see if you can understand. This purple thing is showing you the brain, the black thing is showing you the skull. So basically around the brain, this is the subarachnoid space, here you can find the CSF and this is the ventricle and in the ventricle you can find CSF and down here it goes to the central canal of spinal cord, fine. So cerebrospinal fluid you will find it in the ventricles in the central canal of spinal cord in the subarachnoid space. Who makes spinal cord, uh, cerebrospinal fluid? Choroid plexus. Choroid plexus are actually having blood supply, blood capillaries. These are present where? In the lateral ventricles, correct? They are present in the lateral ventricles. These make cerebrospinal fluid and cerebrospinal fluid are found in ventricles, central canal of spinal cord and subarachnoid space. Okay. So basically, uh, choroid plexus of lateral and third ventricle, they are saying, they form the CSF, then they go to the ventricle central canal of spinal cord and via the foramen of, via the foramen of Magendi and Lushka, they reach subarachnoid space, fine, I am just starting uh, and telling you again, cerebrospinal fluid is made by the choroid plexus present in the ventricles. These, uh, the cerebrospinal fluid hence flows in the ventricle central canal of spinal cord. Spinal cord. Why the foramen of Magendi and Lushka, they can reach the subarachnoid space. Fine? Good. Now, um, how does the cerebrospinal fluid look? This is actually colorless fine and transparent just like water right colorless transparent but it has slightly higher specific gravity than water 1.005 1.005 is the specific gravity of cerebrospinal fluid okay just moving on to some other things it is actually alkaline fine it is alkaline we have 150 ml of cerebrospinal fluid however we make around 500 ml of cerebrospinal fluid daily Okay, so what happens exactly to the remaining? It is absorbed by arachnoid villi. This is very important. This is actually telling you the way cerebrospinal fluid works. We are, what is the function of cerebrospinal spinal fluid? This is a very important word, cushion. It is a cushion for the brain. It maintains the pressure inside the cranial cavity, right? So, it is... Uh, it has to be in this constant volume. Whatever is excess to maintain the pressure, the arachnoid villi will absorb it and depending on the pressure, okay, how much it needs, how much is less. See the CSF pressure, you should know 5 to 15 millimeter of mercury. Please note this, it is 5 to 15 millimeter of mercury. So just to summarize, <coughs> The cerebrospinal fluid is made by the choroid plexus which are present in the ventricles. The choroid plexus actually are blood capillaries, okay. They make the cerebrospinal fluid. So the cerebrospinal fluid is going to come from the uh, choroid plexus into the ventricles and then it, this is the fourth ventricle here, third and fourth ventricle, third is here and fourth ventricle, right here. So all the ventricles have cerebrospinal fluid, it also flows into the spinal cord what is that that is the central canal of spinal cord fine and it also flows into the subarachnoid space via the foramen of what are the foramen names foramen of Magendi and Lushka foramen of Magendi and Lushka because of these foramens it will enter the subarachnoid space now look at the subarachnoid space again as it goes into the subarachnoid space, 
there are sabar uh, there are villi here which are going to absorb the csf and <clears throat> it will help maintain the exact pressure 5 to 15 mm of mercury fine very good now let us look at the composition of uh, cerebrospinal fluid composition of cerebrospinal fluid cerebrospinal fluid is actually having uh, sugar amino acids protein cholesterol urea uric acid creatinine really all these are <laughs> found in urine right interestingly you have them even in cerebrospinal fluid what about uh, inorganic constituents so these were the organic constituents inorganic constituents will be sodium calcium see you can always say sodium potassium never have a doubt potassium calcium chlorine right then you have bicarbonates phosphates right you will always write these words huh? just remember that cerebrospinal fluid will be like extracellular fluid outside the cell right whatever you find fine in the next video let us look at the functions of cerebrospinal fluid <laughs>